is an if-then statement? Well, it's not a complicated mathematical thing. You hear these things all the time. And I'll give you a quick example. Let's suppose I tell you, if you wash my car, then I'll give you a cookie. That's an if-then statement. So an if-then statement is anything of this form. If something, and some, you could represent the something by anything you want, washing my car, or you could just write something like P, which we can use as a placeholder for the something. If something, then something else. And I'll write that as Q. And we have a nice shorthand for this in mathematics. We actually just write P arrow Q to mean exactly that, but we don't have to write the word if, and we don't have to write the word then. So here's an example. We have a if then statement. And when students start studying logic, they can be often a little bit confused by what is the truth table for an if then statement. So let's go over that briefly. If you have an if then statement, which I've represented on the board here, we really have two things to keep in mind, the P portion and the Q portion. And you can think about it for a moment. There are four options for what could happen. Let's use the car example. Either you wash my car or you don't, and either I give you a cookie or I don't. So really, there are four combinations for, for outcomes. If you do wash my car and I do give you a cookie, you're happy. You got a cookie and I'm happy I got my car washed. But not only that, the statement was true. Now, let's skip the next one for a moment and look just below. If you think about the case where you don't wash my car, the statement, if you wash my car, then I'll give you a cookie, still holds. Because nobody ever said anything about what would happen if you didn't wash the car. So in that case, the statement, if you wash my car, then I'll give you a cookie, is still true. The only time that you know the statement is false if, is if you can find an example where the P is true and the Q is false. Why is that? That's because that's when you know you've been lied to. If I tell you, if you wash my car, then I'll give you a cookie, and then you go ahead and wash my car and I don't give you a cookie, you're going to be pretty angry and you know I lied to you. So that's when the statement is false. Now keep in mind that in mathematics, if you're trying to prove a statement like this, if P then Q, what you have to do is to consider all the possible options where P could be true, and in all of those options, you have to show that then Q has to be true. Because if you find any single option where P was true and Q was false, that would disprove the statement. So just remember, if then statements are not that complicated, you just have to remember, when am I being lied to?